Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. So, maybe it's a few months ago now, but definitely sometime on this channel I made two videos of me reading my childhood stories, which are for when I was like maybe six, seven years old, and recently I have found another one. This one is called Maisie Magic and the Crystal Tiara. I believe this was going to be some kind of series I did with different names and different objects, but I wrote this when I was seven years old and it's like a f it's a full length thing it's a few pages so I'm going to do a dramatic reading right now I hope you enjoy this I think this is slightly inspired by the rainbow fairies and Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull but it starts off with an introduction that is in a different font to the rest of it which I believe was probably meant to be my blurb and all the way throughout it I don't know if you can see but it has lots of like little pencil drawings and I kind of remember doing the drawings and they are like all throughout the thing. So, introduction. Macy Magic loves to go on adventures. She loves all kinds of adventures. Nice ones, scary ones, she loves them all. Macy decides to take her friends on an adventure to find the Crystal Tiara. What will happen when the Creek and Crazy Santo find out? I believe that was meant to be like Santa. So, we begin the story. One rainy day, Maisie was reading her favourite adventure book called Sophie's Safari Show. Suddenly, Maisie had an idea. She would take her friends on an adventure when it stopped raining. That's called being British. Maisie started to draw out a map for the adventure. She was going to find the crystal tiara that was hidden in Twisty D Dungeon that belonged to Creek and Crazy Santo. Creek and Crazy were horrible children that had no manners and no behaviour. They were very ugly and smelly. They had ripped clothes and had no friends. Now it had stopped raining, Maisie Magic went to find her friends Molly, Melissa and Mimi. A bit of an end theme going on. When Maisie found her friends, they started to walk to Twisty Dungeon. When Maisie and her friends reached Twisty Dungeon, they looked around to try and find Creek and Crazy hiding somewhere, but they were hiding around the back of Twisty Dungeon. Maisie led Molly and Mimi into the dungeon while Melissa looked for Creek and Crazy. So I mentioned I haven't actually read this since I wrote it. I printed it out and I just found it the other day. And I thought, mm, I'll hide it and save my first reaction for a video. But like, <coughs> yeah, good drawing skills. Hey, yelled Melissa to her friends. Guys, guess who I just saw? The Queen? Asked Molly. The Princess? Said Mimi. No, Melissa laughed. Creek and Crazy Santo. He he ha ha. Creek giggled from the back of the dungeon. As soon as Maisie and her friends touched the crystal tiara, we would make the dungeon roof fall on them and they would never know how to get out. They will die and we will feed their skin to the, our pet piranhas. Uh oh, Maisie shrieked. If shrieked, not shrieked. If we take the crystal tiara, the dungeon roof will fall on us. We will die and be fed to piranhas. Bad, said Molly. Awful, said Mimi. Terrible, said Melissa. Maisie looked at the other side of the dungeon. She could see creepy statues, coffins with dead bodies in them, old magic books, and right at the back of the dungeon she could see the crystal tiara. Suddenly, all four friends heard a cackle, so they looked at the entrance of the dungeon. Creek and Crazy Santo were standing there. They were starting to block up the dungeon's entrance. <sighs> Okay. Um, imaginative kid, I believe. I don't think my parents ever read my stories when I was little. I just wrote them for myself and then put them in a folder somewhere. If they read about um, their small, like innocent seven-year-old writing stories about some girls getting blocked in a cave and then crushed to death, I think they should be concerned. Maisie reached out for an old magic book. She found a spell that could unblock anything, so she tried it out. Unlock us from the top of us, Maisie read out from the magic book. Suddenly, all of the dungeon walls and roof started to lift into the air, so Maisie grabbed the crystal tiara while her friends started to run back to her house. Maisie followed them with their crystal award. Creek and Crazy were so scared, so they decided that they were to be good children. A good moral. Finally, Maisie and her friends were back in Maisie's front garden. Maisie gave each of her friends a crystal from the precious tiara. So you get a precious crystal tiara and you just take it apart and go like, a bit for you, a bit for you, a bit for you. 
Yay. That's like very Bean Girls, isn't it? Maisie now knows two more things. She's magic and she, Molly, Melissa and Mimi were rich. The End by Tegan Anderson, age seven. <sighs> that was a, a good story. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and in the comments below, let me know about some of the things you wrote about as a child. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.